All right, guys, really quick, man, I want to talk to you guys about an issue with the Pocket 4K and the 6K in terms of the red color channel. If you guys have ever had the issue with the red channel just completely clipping out, this video is for you. I already have a clip and the red shirt that the kid is wearing is completely blown out, as you guys can see in the preview window here. There are other ways to go ahead and remedy this situation. You could go ahead and open up a color space transform node and you can make some adjustments there. But I found it a whole lot easier to go ahead and mask out that color as well as the luminous volume, then make some adjustments off of there. So real quick, man, we're gonna go ahead and open up another node, go ahead and hit that Alt S, make a new node. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hit the eyedropper tool, which is the qualifier tool at the bottom of the color tab. Make sure our selection range is set to the eyedropper picker right here in this portion of the window. And we're just gonna go ahead and click all around this red part of the image here. Once we get that all dialed in, go ahead and hit Shift H. What this is gonna do is go ahead and highlight that portion of the area that we're trying to mask out. And we're gonna make some minor adjustments to this mask on the saturation end. We're gonna go ahead and drag the saturation on the low end so that we get the entire shirt. And that looks pretty good right there. Let's go ahead and drag our denoise value up to about, I say about 10. And let's go ahead and clear them whites up just a little bit as well. We're also gonna make some adjustments to the blur radius. You can really crank this up. Um, pretty much as high as you want. So right there looks pretty good to me. We're gonna go ahead and hit Shift H or this highlighter tool right here on the upper left of the preview window. And then we're gonna go ahead and make some adjustments to this shirt. All right, so the way we're gonna make some adjustments to this shirt is we're gonna go ahead and look at our scopes at our window here on the bottom right. And if we see the red channel here, you can see, clearly see where the shirt is at. It's just completely clipped and off of the scope. So our goal and our mission is to bring these values back down into a nice healthy range to about 768 to, to 896, somewhere around there and spread out amongst those particular values. And what we're gonna be doing basically, man, is using the hue versus saturation, as well as the hue versus luma curves. And so let's go ahead and go over to the hue versus luma. We're gonna go ahead and click on the shirt in this particular scene right here. And we're gonna drag that lumination value down until it hits about 896, right around there. We can see the information starting to spread out right around 896. Now, anytime you take lumination away from any hue, you're going to want to add saturation back into the picture. So let's go ahead and go back over into hue versus saturation, click on the red shirt, and then we're going to simply pull that information back up to about 1023. Head back over into hue versus loom. Let's go ahead and spread it back out once again, back over into sat drag it back up. All right, once we figure we got this information in a good healthy spot utilizing our scopes, what we're gonna do is go ahead and go over into our exposure curve, click on the red shirt again, and we're gonna drag that information down so we can spread it out just a little bit. What we can also do on the hue versus illumination is go ahead and make a mark right around near the purple area where it starts to turn blue and then make another mark. And then with this first mark here that the program made with our initial identification of this particular hue, we can drag it up. And what you're gonna see here on the scopes is that that information starts to spread out as well. The next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and go over into the actual exposure curves. And we're also gonna make adjustments here as well. You could bring the exposure down and also bring it up just above that mark as well. So as we can see, this information is starting to get a little bit more spread out and we can make some minor adjustments to the saturation as well as the highlights. We can also make adjustments to the lift. We can also make some subtle adjustments over in the log wheels with our shadow. We're gonna spread that information out just a little bit more and I think there looks pretty good. So once again, this is before and this is after the adjustments made on that particular note. Hey man, if you guys got any other questions, particularly concerning the red channel on the BMP CC 4K 6K, then hit me up in the comments below. Other than that, man, I'm out. See y'all in the next video, man. Peace. Boys don't come to play, you should get worried. One false move, find yourself they getting buried. Dance with the devil, used to love playing those games. Made some bad decisions that brought my mama pain. I made a promise to her, swear that I would change I'm on the come up, bet I live up to my name I wake up, flex, I'm down that check No drip, this, tell her run it up No sleep, no rest, might crash, might wreck But first die, stretch, tell her run it up I wake up, flex, I'm down that check No drip, this, tell her run it up No sleep, no rest, might crash, might wreck